Hi, first graders. Hi, first graders. To, yesterday, we talked about making groups of 10 so that it is easier and more efficient to count big numbers. Today, we are going to count groups of 10 and see what happens when there are some that don't make a group of 10 or a bundle of 10. Now, I chose carrots today because we've been talking a lot about bunny rabbits in our story of Little Rabbit's Tale, and it's getting close to Easter. Now, the good thing also is that Al does not like carrots. I do not like carrots. So, he is not going to eat them for us. So, our goal today is this. I can count groups of 10 and leftovers. Now, leftovers are going to be the objects that do not make a bundle of 10. So, if you see our carrots here, you see that they're all over the place. They're not going to be super fast and efficient to count because they are all mixed up. Now, in order to make it quick when I count, I'm going to see if I can make bundles of 10 or groups of 10. Let's count with me. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, there is a group or bundle of 10. Let's try again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ooh, nice. There's another group of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Another group of 10 carrots. Now let's check out what we have left over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Four carrots do not make a group of 10, so we can consider those leftovers or ones. So now we can count and see how many groups of 10 we have. 1, 2, 3 groups of 10. Well, I know I have three groups of 10, and I have one, two, three, four ones left over. So if I want to count and see how much I have or how many carrots, I can count by 10, my three groups of 10, 10, 20, 30, and I stop after I count by 10. Now I count on 31, 32, 33, 34. So, we found out that three groups of 10 and four leftover is 34. So today we learned that it is fast and efficient to make groups of 10 and then count on the leftovers. Good job, first grade.